Which liquid will dissolve a candy cane the fastest? Not to ruin your holiday, but I'm about to wreck these candy canes. I am filling these cups with cold water, hot water, oh my- And vinegar. I need to work out more. Hot water, cold water, vinegar, because apparently I am thirsty for salad dressing. So there's a scientific reason why one of these is a mega dissolver. But if we knew what that was, we wouldn't be doing this experiment. And if you do know, don't spoil it for me. I already had White Lotus spoiled this week. Okay, so apparently it's impossible to open a candy cane without breaking off the top, but that's okay. Doesn't matter for this. I am gonna place one of these candy canes in each cup. Which one of these do you think will dissolve a candy cane the fastest? Ready, set, science. Wait, I see stuff starting to happen. Start a bubble, start a bubble, that looks painful, wow, that looks painful, and look at that pink one, look at that green one, look at that blue one there, I'm starting to move. Let's check out our vinegar, our cold water, okay, and let's check out our hot water, this little stick, I'm sorry, like, it's a twig. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Also, if anyone dares to drink the uh, vinegar candy water, I commend you. So the answer was hot water dissolved the fastest. Hot water, you are the winner. And let me tell you why. It's all about molecules, baby. Hot water's molecules have more energy than those of cold water or vinegar. When water is heated up, the molecules gain energy and so they start moving faster. So water molecules are moving, they're shading, their bumper car colliding with sugar molecules from the candy canes. And they are colliding and colliding and colliding because they are moving so quickly. So because they're coming into contact so often, all of these collisions are breaking the bonds in the sugar, making it super easy to break apart the candy canes molecule by molecule. So what do molecules matter? Well, they're kind of the tiny Legos that make up all of the life on Earth. The four main molecules, proteins, carbohydrates, lipid, and nucleic acids make up all organisms. So it's cool and important to know what they do, how they function, and how they break down our candy. I'm gonna go dissolve the rest of this candy cane.